Eric Jekyll, a trained survivalist, knows where to start looking should disaster strike and cut off his food supply. Oh, there we go. Some bugs are chewable and uh, others are just swallowable. Jekyll, a computer consultant, spends much of his free time practicing for how he will provide for his family in case of economic or natural disaster. Hi, sweetie. And he's not the only one who gets excited about eating off the land. An increasing number of Americans are becoming preppers, a label adopted by people who store food, train with weapons, and learn survival techniques for a sense of security in times of turmoil, say experts. It's delicious. Jekyll runs a blog. His audience, everyone from hardcore survivalists to soccer moms, point to societal breakdowns after 9-11 and Hurricane Katrina as reasons to be ready to take care of yourself. A lot of people saw that the government's response to that wasn't as optimal as they would like, and so a lot more people have taken it in their own hands to provide and support their families. Jekyll would be prepared with supplies he buys at a warehouse operated by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Volunteers spend Saturdays packing food that will store for up to 30 years. Some have dipped into their stash when they were out of a job, so to them, this is time well spent. There's a quote we hear a lot in the church that says, uh, it wasn't raining when Noah built the ark. So you just have to be prepared uh, knowing that something might come. And so if something happens, we're pretty much taken care of food-wise. We hope to be. Jekyll and his wife keep food squirreled away that they eat before it goes bad, then restock on a regular basis. Every year, about around three months, you're going to have a completely new supply of this. Everything in our basement, this, this supply here and this would be about a year and three months. The U.S. government suggests having a three-day emergency supply. So depending how you look at it, the lengths preppers go to may be excessive or excessively smart.